would be, I mean, we all know here that the, um, the heterochromic section of the DNA really is very largely non-coding. So if it gets lost, will that, will that Y chromosome still be functional and will it promote viable offspring? Well, yes. So there's no reason that it, it can't be lost. There's no reason that, you know, through, through mutation that that actually is a, is in any way a problem. You know what I mean? It, if it was a, if it was a big coding part, then it might be an issue, well, but it's yeah. not a coding part at all. But they, the, even in non-coding DNA, there's incredible functions in regulating the coding DNA. In terms of heterochromatin, that protects genome integrity. It maintains the structure of very specific chromosomal regions. And so I think it's more of an assertion to say, well, because maybe it's not as important as other genes or genetic sequences. It could have been lost and tolerated in the chimpanzee line. But then why is it so prevalent in the human line, cats? Well, why would it, why would it have to be removed if it's not deleterious? If it's the, I mean, I said before... Uh, are, are, you saying in the chimp, are you saying in the chimp it was present humans. or not present? In, no, I'm saying, well, I, I thought you said, why is it there? Is in like, well, yeah, how come the it's there line? in the human line but not there in the... So obviously it was lost in one lineage, Yeah, but but it was retained in the other. Why? Or, or was it duplicated in one lin lineage and just not there in the other in present? Right. You know, and, and, and here's my point. Aren't we now kind of going into the world of what if this, what if that, maybe this story works, but I, I, I want to, how is this empirical? How is this? What I'm, what I'm I wondering guess, is why okay, are yeah. you, ex sorry, sorry. Why would you expect them to be, exactly the same why would you expect them to be i'm that's curious to be like, okay well that I would sounds like what you're saying yeah no it's a great question i would expect them to be a lot more similar than 26 percent i mean if if we share a common ancestor with the chimpanzee and go back six million years to a common ancestor and yet all human y chromosomes are 99 percent the same but less than 30 percent with the chimp well you'd expect a little more similarity than then 26, I'll say this, and then uh, you, you can respond. I see you're sharing your slide. I mentioned in my opening, possibly my rebuttal, it's the differences that make all the difference, right? We can both explain similarities. I would say similarities are due to common design. You would say similarities due to common descent. But it's the differences that make all the difference. Yeah, the evolutionists can explain some differences, but it's once we get to these massive differences where you're looking at, you know, 70% difference between supposedly our closest cousin, that's where I would say the burden of proof is on the evolutionist.